next up, we've got Amplified. I'm Sam, CEO and founder of Amplified Link. We empower creators to own and monetize their fan relationships. Amplify Link is HubSpot for creators. We have built one of the most popular music smart linking services in the world. With 84,000 signups, we've connected 25 million fans to content, and we already have paying customers. Almost all of that growth so far has been organic. Superstars like Joey Badass use us, and we've empowered a top 40 hit. Creators love our beautiful landing pages, bio links, and insights. So what's the problem we're solving? Tech giants own fan relationships. Creators spend years building followings, yet they don't own fan data, and they can't reach their fans when they want to. If you can't engage with your fans, you're leaving much needed money on the table, meaning you may not be able to pay your rent or anything else for that matter. So how are we fixing this? We are a sleek, simple, effective toolkit built with creators in mind, combining landing pages, analytics, a CRM, fan messaging, monetization tools, and more for one simple monthly fee, which helps creators increase their revenue. The music market is worth 22 billion. The creator economy is worth over 100 billion. With over 50 million creators and 3 million, 3 million musicians worldwide, the market is growing day by day. There is a massive opportunity for us to grow. We're looking for 800,000 pounds in seed funding so we can free creators from the control of tech giants. And finally, they can own their fan relationships wherever they happen, from social media, Web3, the metaverse, and beyond. Yeah, it sounds really interesting, a really good idea. I think the obviously the, the, the big tech giants, they have the luxury of having the audiences to enable to kind of plug those creatives into the audiences. And I appreciate the challenge that mm -hmm. you have as well. How do you get your uh, creatives to their audience? So, was in like, how do we allow them to so you, you, you expose them to an audience. Is that, that's the purpose of what you're doing? So we're a tool that allows creators uh, like uh, musicians, YouTubers, yes. etc., to share their content with their fans. Yes. Yeah, so how does that get out there? That was my question. Uh, through how? social media. Yeah. Right, okay. Ironically. So yeah. through the tech giants. Yes. Right. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay, yeah. Cool. Ironically. Yeah. Is there anybody else doing something similar? And then how how, how do you beat them? So in music, there's a few competitors, um, and we've managed to grow all this ourselves with basically three, four of us, um, and pretty much no money. So we've um, been competing with our competition pretty well. Um, we like, we're probably like th around third or four in the market with um, with no investment and just bootstrapping the whole thing. So we believe that through our agency background in marketing, we can really grow it with, with investment and uh, capital, basically. All right, thanks. You talk a little bit about some numbers. You said you had some revenue. You know, what is the pricing model? How... How many people have you got signed up? How, how yeah. does it look? How's it growing? So we've got, um, at the moment, we've got, we started, um, we launched the tiered pricing structure about five months ago. So we've got um, free users, uh, $10 basic, $20 pro, and $40 uh, business, uh, business tier. And we've got about 100 paying customers so far. Um, but we're tying up the funnel, and I think we're, we hope to be sort of breaking even within the next sort of five months. Okay. And, it, and good growth for you would be what sort of sign-ups? Per, per month or per yeah. day? Yeah, year, what, whatever. So we, we have about 100 um, users sign up a day at the moment. Um, so growth for us would be, uh, with, with investment, we hope to get to about 5,000 paying customers. Okay, thanks. Um, what are the benefits to um, your your clients, like the artists? What like what do they benefit from? I, obviously, I work in music, so this is my curiosity. How do they? What do they get from using you guys? So, the tool is there's. I guess it's like what we've built so far and what we plan to build. So, what we've built so far is like a completely brandable landing page, almost like a microsite that they can create in seconds. So they can uh, they can basically share their music or YouTube videos or whatever else that is they're sharing with their fans in a way that's an extension of their brand without having to build a, a website. 
and it gives them loads of data like analytics and they can drop pixels so they can retarget um, their fans and also collect fan data. So it is, there's a whole lot, raft of tools that sort of go into it. So, so many people want to solve this problem. Yeah. So you're about the third startup I know that's trying to solve this exact issue, right? How do you track that data through and across platforms once they start pushing that content out? So we have, we have all the integrations with all the major tech giants and stuff. Um, I feel like for our creators, the biggest thing is building their own um, data. So email, SMS, and being able to directly contact their fans, which is like, I think the key for this, because they can monetize in so many different ways and when they can talk directly to them. So yeah, we are integrated with all the big platforms such as Facebook and so on. But, and we use their tracking technology. But I feel like the direct fan to artist relationship or fan to creator relationship is the most important one. Mm -hmm.